Okay, let's talk about intuitive eating or really just not tracking. Like that's what you can consider it. I think intuitive eating is such a buzzword right now, but really you're just not tracking, you're not on a diet and you're learning to get more in tune with your body. So intuitive eating is just another skill. Consider it as just something that you wanna practice and get better at. I think it's something that is foreign to a lot of people who've been tracking for a long time and can be really challenging, but it's super beneficial. Just like tracking is a skill that teaches you a lot and is super valuable, intuitive eating is a skill that teaches you a lot and is super valuable. So I'm not saying one is better than the other. One may be better for you as well. So some people, tracking is awesome. For other people, intuitive eating is really what they need. So for intuitive eating, like who needs to do intuitive eating? For me, I take a break from tracking. I, I do it regularly. I like to do it for extended periods of time. I think it's important to be able to just like check out and not be watching how many calories I've got left for the day. So if you're thinking, holy shit, that sounds terrifying, you probably are the person that needs to learn to develop that skill of eating without looking at your calories. Like that's a really important thing to be able to do and feel comfortable and confident with. You need to rebuild the trust with your body to just let it tell you what it needs. When should you start? Well, kind of whenever, really. There's no like, oh, well, this is the best time. I can tell you when the worst time to start intuitive eating is though, when you're going away on holiday. So don't like track and diet and be in shape for your holiday and then go away and be like, I'm just gonna be eating intuitively. Like really, you're just eating like an asshole, okay? And that's your cover up for it. Start eating intuitively or stop tracking when you're at home, when you're just at home and you're in a controlled environment, okay? That's the best way to start doing it. Now the question that I often get is like, hey, can you lose weight with intuitive eating? The only way to lose weight is to eat less than you need, to be in a calorie deficit. So if you happen to, because you're eating based on how you feel and based on what you want to eat, like based on hunger signals, over the long term, if you're eating less than what you normally do, then yes, you'll lose weight. Is it the best method to lose weight? Not really, it's a little hard to kind of control and figure out if you're eating the right amount or eating less than what you really need in order to lose the weight. However, in saying that, I've lost weight. But I also gained weight when I started, okay? So when you stop tracking, there's a really big tendency to just wanna eat more food because you kind of have freedom. And that's okay, you, you just need to be all right with letting that happen and just like stop weighing yourself. I never weigh myself when I'm intuitive eating. Get rid of the scales, don't worry about it. Just get into this process of listening to your body and trusting it, trusting the hunger and fullness signals. So yes, you may gain weight because you're gonna eat more food, but that levels out. I promise you right now, you're gonna eat more and then you get over it. You just get over it. It's like listening to your favorite song over and over again and then you're like, I never wanna fucking listen to that song ever again. So that's the point that you're gonna get to with food. You're just gonna forget about it. You're gonna forget that you're allowed to eat whatever the heck you want because when you give yourself permission, you just stop obsessing about it. When you deprive or you restrict or you make rules and you create all these things where you're like, I'm not allowed to eat that. What do you wanna eat? You wanna eat the thing that you're not allowed to eat. It's just like fucking natural human behavior. So yeah, you might gain a little bit of weight. Just accept that, that's okay. It's part of the process. It will fizzle out and you may ultimately end up losing weight. Is it the best method for weight loss? Eh, maybe not, but it can happen. And especially if you have a really like up and down relationship with food, intuitive eating is like the antidote to that, okay? If you're that yo-yo dieter, just learning to eat without being on a diet could be the remedy.